Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Zygarde yet again 50% in the Ultra League here. We're going to be pairing it up with Tapu Fini as well as Skeleturge. We did use Skeleturge as well as Venusaur last time so we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'm making this again because YouTube is awesome when it comes down to you know throwing my notifications out to people. A lot of people didn't see the other one so we're going to go ahead and use it again and I had an absolute blast. It took a while to get it, you know, maybe I want to see the performance of it to see if you actually want to pursue to get these damn cells that much harder. Because for some of you, I already know, it's pretty difficult to even get them because you don't even have routes in your area. Or if you do have routes, you're limited to how many times you can do them to get the cells per day. Sometimes you might not even get a cell. It's always nice when you get three on your first route of the day, man, that's so satisfying. But with that said, if you can give this video a thumbs up, that'd be much appreciated. Make sure you do have notifications on and let's get into this. Let's see what we have going on here. All right, we will be leading with the Zygarde for a while, then we're gonna swap it up to Skeleturge. Met with a Pidgeot here, we'll take it. Now, unfortunately, the only problem with the uh, Zygarde is it takes a minute to get to these charge moves here. Uh, it needs a maybe a move that can bait a little bit better. I don't know, maybe we can go with Crunch or something, but uh, it seems to work. Uh, it could take a hit, so that is nice. If it was squishier, then it would be useless. Uh, but since it can absorb hits, then it's looking great. Obviously very weak to ice, though, so you do need coverage for that as... We do have the Tapu Fin as well as the Skeleturge. So we're up against this Virizion here. This is one of the most satisfying matchups you can have, I think, personally. Uh, unless they do have Stone Edge, in which if they did, you'd still be able to destroy them because you survive the Stone Edge with plenty of health left and they can't take you out with Sacred Sword. Bringing back that Pidgeot, of course, we're not going to be going for no Ghost Moves as they are a normal type. And we're going to hit these Disarming Voices back to back here so we can get a shield out of them. All right, they didn't want to shield up anything and retreating with energy on that Pidgeot yet again and bringing in Kabalion as we do bring in our Tapu Fin. They decided they do not want any of that and back out. Next battle, Zygarde into Virizion. You remember the last video I did? Leads, Virizion, Dragonite. Virizion, 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 Dragonite. What's up with that? Well, we already know what's up with that. It's because of the moves that we do have on our Pokemon, right? All right, so this is, you know, I've done this a hundred times at this point now being a little sarcastic, probably like around 15 or 20. So we know what's gonna happen here. They're gonna shield up the Outrage, they're gonna throw another one of these before we get to the Outrage, and they're down a shield, and we're gonna bring in Skeleturge and absolutely wreck their world. Let's see if they wanna stay here. Now, if they hit me with the Stone Edge, yeah, that's gonna be pretty unfortunate for me, but at least we got their spammy Grass-type Pokemon out of the way, and there it is, see? Look, there's that Stone Edge, bringing in a damn Greninja here. Now, if they have a Charizard in the back, or Fire-type, or a ground type or steelix or something we will be able to pull this off with the tapu fin so let's see what happens bringing in the tapu finny up against greninja do not sleep on greninja i swear now if they would have were to get the attack boost there and then hit me with hydro cannon they would have bring me down pretty low as a matter of fact two night slashes already bring me down to about half health almost what the freaking hell is this i'm a fairy jeez greninja's a beast and there it is there it is our fire type in the back. We're not shielding this up. No, we're not. That's Dragon Claw. I'm not. I don't give a damn. Swapping, we farm them down and then they back out. We still have two shields. All right. And we didn't have like a hard, good lead or something. We just normal. All right. This is interesting here. Registeel. We massively resist the Zap Cannon and then the Focus Blast. We'll do a good amount of damage here. So they are going to be retreating as we did get to the charge move here. This is going to be Bulldoze. And that's great because obviously Outrage is just what we want to do up against Tabu Vin. So nice, nice. So bring it in our own. And they're going to go for that Moon Blast, unfortunately. We're going to go ahead and get a shield out of them here. Let's see if we can. Yeah, exactly. They don't want to lose this swap here. Getting a shield would serve. Getting to the next one because this is, you know, it's not going to KO, but it'll be almost there. Uh, yeah, that's a little unfortunate. So they are going to be winning this matchup here, but that's actually perfect. That's no problem. So this is going to enable us to gain our energy back on the Zygarde here if they want to bring back that Registeel. And we do have the Skeleturge, which is going to be able to shut down both of these Pokemon that we're seeing here, Cresselia as well as the Registeel. I wouldn't really say Registeel so much because they can at least spam us with the, uh, the Zap Cannon, but, uh, yeah. 
take a look at what's going to happen here. They do not like what I did, and they back out as soon as I do that. It'll be because it's a wrap. So I knew they were going to swap into the Registeel, go for Focus Blast, and we catch it with Skeletorge, and then they back out because it is a wrap. They wasted all that energy. They needed that WS Zap Cannon on the Skeletorge. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Okay, leading with Skeletorge now. Met with a... Wall rain because we have the dragon in the back. Do you see how that works? You see? I mean, it's a thank goodness that we didn't lead that into the wall rain with the Zygarde. So good thing we swapped. But this is the reason why I build my teams the way I do. Because I know what the game's going to do. It's going to throw a hard counter at me because we're on hard mode. You got to love it. We're massively resisting this poison. Well, you got a good resistance with the ground typing. Taking them out there with the outrage. Yeah, I know I could have went for the ground type move, but it doesn't really matter at that point. Farming down with the wall rain. Massive resistance to ice, especially up against the Shadow Wall Rain. Dragon and ground type, just like Garchomp there. All right, so bringing back the Skeleturge. Now we're gonna shield this up. If it's Earthquake, yeah, we would have been screwed. Uh, great call. Going for the Disarming Voice. I'm not gonna go for the whole Shadow Ball here. Yeah, as I figured, they're gonna wanna shield that up. Now we will go ahead and throw that Shadow Ball. We're gonna shield this up, and it is another freaking Earthquake. So we're gonna farm a little bit more, but uh. That was a little bit bad on me, and they're retreating into a stunk tank. So we can't go for Shadow Ball. Gonna go for that Disarming Voice, hold on to this energy, and swap into the Tapu Fin. Now this, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. Sludge Bomb, pretty much gonna one-shot us. Can we get to Surf? Freaking hell, are you serious? Come on, man. All right, Skeletarge, it's up to you, buddy. Let's take this person out here. Going for that damn Disarming Voice, it's not enough. Oh! Then we farm them down, getting a little bit more energy, and getting to the Disarming Voice to take out this Wall Rain. Let's go! All right. Well, yeah, let's get it. Next battle, what are we going to see here? Skeledurge in the lead still. And, oh, Poliwrath. Now, if we were leading Zygarde, it wouldn't be that great because they do have Ice Punch. Uh, but it's funny that we're going to see a lot of these Ice Pokemon appearing up front now that we have the Dragon and Ground type in the back. And we've got another Drapion here. We're going to go ahead and swap into this and kind of not really walling them. We're going to be able to still go right through us with that Crunch, and it's doing a hell of a lot of damage. Again, we don't need to go for the ground move here. We can go for the Outrage. Now, I do not... Um, I do this on purpose. Now, we don't KO them, and they, like, survive with 1 HP. I wasn't trying to make it so they had 1 HP, but that works. That Just enough for me to take them out with a quick move with the Skeledurge to build up our energy a little bit more, because that's just a play we're going to have to do at this point. And they're bringing in a Muck, and I do believe that has Poison Jab here. All right, sounds good, as we're going to be resisting that, and they're not going to be able to farm up as fast. Going for another Disarming Voice, because, well, that's just what we're going to have to do here, right? And we've got two shields. Might as well shield them up. Typically, if they're Acid Spray, or if they're uh, uh, <laughs> Poison Jab, they have Acid Spray. So shielding that up was kind of a risk, but it was worth it because they went straight for the Dark Pulse. All right, now we're going to, I think we uh, shield this up, farm them down. All right, they're going to swap. Now things are getting a little crazy here. Uh, what, what do we got in the back? Oh, Tapu Fin, perfect. Now it's a wrap. That's over. And I do believe they back out here. Yep, and we're looking good. Thank you very much. Let's keep it moving here. Now, eh, Venusaur is not an issue. I mean, nah, not really at all. All right, next battle, Ampros with the Wild Charge. Okie dokie. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not, this is all right. See, the thing about Ampharos is the son of a gun can spam that brutal swing and it does so much damn damage. It's a great Pokemon. This is exactly where it belongs in the Ultra League, Ampharos. All right, and you do not need his community day move. Horrible, horrible. Eh, it's not horrible, it's just not worth it. Now, I don't know, was this worth it here? Am I going to be able to get to another disarming voice? They shield it up and we do not, so it doesn't really matter anyway. Bringing in Zygarde with the massive resistance. They've used both shields at this point, and they're just going to keep on spamming me with that, obviously, here. So, farming them down, I don't think that's going to be a, the smartest thing to do. All right, never mind. I guess I'm going to do that. <laughs> like we had to, I think, because of the... Uh, uh, I wouldn't call it disadvantage, but we're down a Pokemon. So we're going to go for that Outrage up against their Giratina. Farm up a little bit more. Catch with the Tapu Fin. Tell me we caught a Dragon Claw. Oh my goodness. Let's go. And we're going to farm them down with Water Gun. Will we be able to see what is in the back? I do believe we will here. Show me a Char a Kabalion. Okay, that works. Stone Edges. I don't think it's going to KO us here. And straight for the Moon Blast. Not super effective because of the Steel type. Anything that's mixed with Steel, man, is just... <sighs> Seems like it's almost OP. Are they going to be able to double kick us down? Oh, they do, but they throw right when they were... Oh, not quite going to KO. So we're shielding this up, and we will take the win with the Tapu Finny here at the end. And if you're wondering why I went with this one, the Shiny, 
you haven't been watching recently. Uh, I had another one. I went with the shiny because one, it's shiny and it's got higher attack to win CMP. Next battle, we're met with a Obstagoon. Now, if you're thinking, ah, this, is, this is not good for you, huh? No, it's actually okay. It's actually perfectly fine. So we'll let that first Night Slash go. Granted, they do not get the attack boost. If they get the attack boost, yeah, it's all screwed up and we're, we're screwed for sure. Um, but what we're gonna do here, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say screwed, we're being in the Tapu Fin, but we're not gonna be able to do what we're doing here. Letting both Night Slashes go without getting the attack boost getting to the disarming voice again and but we would be able to get to another one but they're retreating so we're going to go ahead and bring in the zygarde here to handle this trevenant that was immediately so we're just going to let it go yeah it's just definitely going to be a seed bomb here but since we are part ground type uh you know it's kind of still doing a decent amount of damage to us here right letting that oh not letting it go we need to shield that up otherwise we're kind of screwed right Going for the Outrage, taking out that Trevenant, holding on to one shield, they're bringing in a Charizard, they're going to be able to get to that Dragon Claw, which is obviously going to KO us here. Well, we might survive barely. Nope, never mind. Bringing in Tapu Finn, and this is pretty much a wrap here. We're going to go ahead and catch. You like that catch with what, 2, two HP Skeleturge? That's a wrap now. Did I need to do that? Mm, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. See, don't underestimate that damn Charizard because the son of a gun will take you out. It's like a Venusaur-esque thing. Unfortunately, Blastoise doesn't get the treatment that Venusaur and Charizard have. Maybe they'll fix it in the future. Uh, it's good. It's a good Pokemon, but they're just better water types. And unfortunately, you're not going to be able to spam as fast as Charizard and Venusaur are. I don't know why they haven't showed Venusaur or <laughs> Blastoise more love. Okay, what do we have here? Scrafty, another dark type. So we're in the same situation where the fighting is resisted and we're going to be doing super effective to them as a matter of fact tons of damage look at that we're going to call this power up punch and we're going to farm their butt down you better believe it. yeah let's, let's go no i'm not shooting that all right now they still got two shields we got a lot of energy they're bringing in machamp oof what the f is in the back what do you got in the back grass you have to have some grass in the back right grass or pff, another fighter or maybe a fairy i think it's fairy so we swap here oh wall rain okay Okay, sure, that works. All right, so going for the Moonblast here, we still have the Zygarde in the back, and doing that damage with the Moonblast was critical. I mean, it's not like they're gonna take me out. <laughs> they gotta get to a whole another Earthquake to actually finish this off. So we're gonna go ahead and just go for the Surf here. It's not urgent to take them out, and it's bringing them low enough to get enough farm. We're farming them down ourselves, perfect. Bringing back that Machamp, and we still have two shields here. We could easily let this go, but we're gonna go ahead and shield, or, uh, we could easily shield it up, but we're going to easily let it go to bring in Zygarde so we can have a little fun up against this Machamp. We're going to let this go cross. I think we win, win this with both shields. Yeah. So, was it a flex? Kind of. I was having a little fun with it. Why the hell not? And we take the win with both shields. Let's go. All right. Next battle. What are we going to see? So, if you're wondering, should you get out there and... You know, look at that. Another Ampharos with the damn Zygarde in the back. You know, it's just... Oh, what is going on? Why am I seeing the same Pokemon? I'm so confused. What is going on? Why is everybody using the same thing? How oblivious are people? <laughs> That's why... I, oh, my God. All right. Never mind. All right. So, is it worth going out there and hunting the cells to evolve this? I'm going to say, yeah, 100%. I'm not going to say, you know, travel to the city every day so you can do a route if you don't have one in your area. Unless you have that time, okay. Uh, if you have that time and you enjoy the game, I say do what you were going to do anyway. But yeah, it, it's it's awesome. So you got to think about that. We're going to get another one, right? We talk about this every single time because that's a big thing to go over. I mean, think about it. You get 250 Zygarde cells. You have a mediocre one. You you power it up, or it's whatever you power it up. I mean, not even powering it up is the crazy part at this point. Just invest your XL candies. Every, who cares? Who's cheating? Who cares? It doesn't matter. Just rock it to death. All right? Who, who, nobody cares. They're, people only target a specific group of people that they feel like that, oh, if they're cheating, that, oh, they're deemed the ones who are bad. But another person who is cheating and doing the same thing, they're like, oh, we'll give them a pass. Like this whole sniper wolf thing, man, what an absolute piece of shit she is, right? For doxing the dude over here who's been on YouTube for a minute. And do you see? This is just an example of where we're at in the world. Uh, it's just privilege. I think it's pretty privilege, as well as they're scared. <laughs> what am I rambling about? Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching, y'all. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all next time. Zygarde is worth it. Take care.
So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. You will see.